Sure, I'm uh, Jeff McClurkin. I'm a professor of history and American studies, and I'm the special assistant to the provost for teaching technology and innovation. About four years ago, I was asked by John Morello to join the building committee. Um, and so I worked to help plan the building from that point forward. And then about 18 months ago, uh, I was asked to take on this role as the special assistant to the provost. And in that role, uh, I have been in charge of the operations. I think this room we're in is, is one of the uh, most impressive ones. Uh, the, the wraparound green screen, the HD cameras, the ability of students to be able to come in and create documentaries is, is something that stands out for me. Uh, I also think the uh, two-story video wall is, uh, some, is an impressive feature, and I laugh a little bit because it's actually something that I opposed in the designing of the building. It seemed, it seemed uh, I didn't really understand how it would be used, I think. Uh, I didn't, uh, it seemed like we could spend some of that money, building money in other ways, but it turned, it's turned out to be an incredibly important feature of the building. Well, I think anytime you're dealing with new technology, you have to be a little bit concerned about, about how well the funds, how well you'll be able to, to pay for uh, ongoing maintenance and upgrades. So that's, that's a concern, although, and it's a concern that, that is frankly my problem in this role to figure out. Um, but we're taking steps now to, to um, ensure that there's annual funds for upgrades and maintenance. Um, my goal in five to ten years from now is that this will continue to be a building that will have the attention of the students, will still have uh, large numbers of students, hundreds of students coming in each day, that it will continue to serve this role as, as a place for students to work, a place for students to learn, a, a, a place where we continue to push the boundaries of what it means to do uh, digital, uh, to, do, to, to use digital technology in the liberal arts environment. Everything about the building has, was, was designed with the idea of flexibility and the ability to upgrade. So whether it's the, it's the raised floors, which would allow us to, to pull those tiles off and to lay mm -hmm. something new. So if there's some new technology that comes along, uh, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to add it uh, to this building in a way that would be difficult to add to uh, conventional buildings. Uh, but also just the notion that, that as we were planning the building, we tried not to be so arrogant as to imagine that, that we would know exactly how students would use it today mm -hmm. or how students would use it five to 10 years from now. And so we tried in every way possible to build in that kind of flexibility and the ability for things to, to change and move and to uh, adapt to what students need. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, first of all, one of the things that, that I think a lot of us as faculty and staff have seen is simply being able to see students studying in a way that when they were in their residence halls or when they were in the, in the, in some parts of the library, um, we couldn't always see them studying, but we simply, we actually see students engaged in studying. Um, but I also think we're seeing uh, students uh, study in groups in ways that mm -hmm. um, even when they're not working on the same project, but they're, they want to study together in the same place. Um, and that they really work to make these spaces their own. So, you know, um, at winter time when you see six or seven students in a conference room studying and they've got a video recording of a, of, of a log burning on, a, <laughs> on the TV, <laughs> they've, they've really sort of made it into their own living room. Um, so, so just in, in the way that students study, in the way that we see students studying, this building has, has um, uh, changed the way I think a lot of faculty and staff on campus see it. Um, and then there's, uh, there's the ability to do the kinds of projects like this one where, where students are engaged in extensive documentaries, um, whether it's um, in, in the form of a, in a documentary like this one and taking the full use of, the, of, of, of this particular recording space, or if they're doing uh, recordings with their, with their cameras or their cell phones, um, and then coming in and using the editing space um, next door. Um, we have the capability of integrating digital media into our classes in a way that we simply haven't had to before. Part of that's about the physical space. Part of that's also about the fact that the new Digital Knowledge Center allows us to um, allows us to, to provide training for students in these things in a way that we could do before, but not at the same scale. I think they're beginning to. I think you always are going to have those who are on the cutting edge, faculty who are 
who are willing to, to uh, and excited to push changes, and those faculty have already begun to integrate uh, these tools in. Um, and then I think uh, what you're going to see over the next five to ten years is an increasing change in um, the expectations of, of individual major programs as they begin to um, realize that they can take advantage of, of, the, of the technology that's here and the support for technology that's in this building um, in a way that they, they simply couldn't have realistically expected, say, all of their majors to engage in what, what we might think of as digital fluency, the ability to consume, analyze, and produce digital media in the context of their disciplines. Right? Um, so, so that's something I think we're going to see a lot more of over the next five to ten years as, mm -hmm. as, as more and more faculty recognize this as something that they can not just integrate into their classes, but actually integrate across the curriculum. Uh, just that, um, I mean, a lot of us spend a lot of time working on it, uh, and it's been uh, immensely gratifying to see students um, really take hold of it and really embrace it as a place that they enjoy and that they like spending time in and that they um, can get something out of. And it's so, you know, when you work for years on something and then to see it come to fruition, it's a pretty amazing thing.